Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel, Zai Boss, and today I'm back out in the firewood permission. I already took one load out of here. Gonna work on load number two, see how that goes. It's a pretty nice day. It's only about 76 degrees, but I am soaking wet. Um, cutting up some ash. I forgot my chain, so I just cut them back as far as I could. And uh, now I got my chain here on the second load, so I'm going to pull some out, cut them up, throw them in. I'm cutting them long, so if you notice that in the video, you'll find out why in an upcoming video. Probably not this one, but uh, this is my own firewood. We got a pretty decent sized pile to sell, uh, Tyler and I do. Um, you guys, I think, may have seen that in another video, not sure. Uh, sorry the videos are coming out so slow this summer. Uh, Boss Elite Excavating has been pretty doggone busy. Well, as of right now, I've got some stuff pending, but nothing firmly on the books. So, we're just going to cut firewood and we're going to go hard at it. I think we're going to um, bring tractor out. And by the way, I sold that to Mr. Tyler. He's going to bring his tractor out, uh, brush hog a landing up here in the field that I cleared last summer. And uh, then he's going to put the pole on and pull a bunch of these logs up there. And we'll have my big trailer and we'll just be cutting and throwing it in. I'm getting a phone call. Oh, my God. 
let's throw this in the truck. Stay tuned. Gonna kill myself on these sticks. It's gonna be interesting, make for a good video. Till that time, I'm gonna wrangle these two logs behind you. Pull them out. This saw runs exactly the same way it did before I put a new carburetor on it. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's start loading with these two. All right, so I'm gonna throw that little bit on and uh, hook onto this guy right here in the back and pull him out the rest of the way and buck him up. Stay tuned, I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, guys and gals. So pulling that guy out that y'all are looking at I broke a brake line on the Chev, so uh, I'm gonna 
buck that up and clean this up and we're going to call that a day i'm going to have to fix that brake line i do believe before we uh bring her back out in the woods and i think me and mr tyler are coming in the morning so good thing i got another truck at home
All right, I think that's going to make a good little load. i going to pause you guys out, bring you back, show you the load. All right, guys and gals. So, pulling that guy out that y'all are looking at, I broke a brake line on the Chev. So, uh, I'm going to buck that up and clean this up and we're going to call that a day i'm going to have to fix that brake line i do believe before we uh bring her back out in the woods and i think me and mr tyler are coming in the morning so good thing i got another truck at home All right, I think that's going to make a good little load. I'm going to pause you guys out, bring you back, show you the load. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching the video. I didn't forget, I'm going to show you the load. You guys are awesome. Well, there it is. Not the fullest load I've ever pulled out of here, but uh, you know what? You break a brake line. Maybe we shouldn't get a heaping load. Maybe we should just get a, a respectable load and take it on home. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys and gals. Should be more videos coming up. Um, more wood cutting. I know you guys love it. So wood cutting, wood splitting, more of the old Chevy. The old tractor didn't go anywhere other than next door. Uh, sold it to Mr. Tyler simply because... Uh, he has a lot of mowing jobs that uh, he can use it for use a brush hog on it so he wanted it uh, I wanted rid of it I guess so all right till next time be safe out there in the woods get out and do some cutting all right we'll see y'all again soon bye for now <laughs>